see this at the team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got another Chalk Talk coming at you. It's December 6th. I am clearly moving. If you look at my background, I've had this outfit on for about four days straight. My pits are sweaty. My life is in shambles, but without further ado, my trading is nice. So let's hop into the uh, the market outlook. Today is December 6th, and this week we learned Christmas is canceled. So I will be sharing my screen. Here we go. We got the S&P up. And uh, you know, here's how we closed out last week. We've had a, a pretty nice 16% rally off lows. Um, this October 13th, October 13th low was from CPI coming in light. You know, very sharp rally, which pretty much mimicked every single rally we've had this year. Bear market rally, they've all looked very similar. So it's almost like you know, it's hard to believe that this one uh, falls short here because it's just so obvious. It's the 200 day moving average. It's it's you know, the macro resistance, but you know, crazy things have happened and that's the action we've gotten so far. So um, Friday we had a gap down, we tried to get bought up and then months since then we've just seen selling in the indices. So now we're, we're getting these, this little uptrend channels is, is being tested right here. What I thought was really interesting today is we've seen pretty much a mirror relationship between the 10 year and the S&P. Whereas the 10 year goes up, the S&P goes down. But today, the 10 year continues to sell off while the S&P sold off, which makes me believe we don't just go straight down. People, uh, the general consensus right now, you know, uh, about last week, it was, you know, a new bull market uh, once we reclaimed 200 day. Now, since we're filling that area, the general consensus is now we're going straight back to lows, 350 mm -hmm. spy, whatever it is. Um, you know, nothing to change a narrative, like a little price action. But uh, I, I think we just got, we got, we're going to have extreme chop. And then next fence, next, next Wednesday, next Wednesday, we have a fed meeting. Uh, they're going to raise rates again. And I think that's, you know, that's just a news event. I don't know what happens there, but I think we chop back and forth until then we see no major moves, but um, you know, that's really what I got. I'm just playing the chop, just trying to hit singles and doubles out here. Uh, that's really all I, all I got is market outlook, expect chop. You know, now that everyone thinks the market's going to break down, we're probably looking at, support buys tomorrow because you know, we have to break down tomorrow. So uh, it's, it's, it's been doing the opposite uh, on the short term. It's been working for me. Yeah. I think the one thing I'll, I'll touch on a couple, couple of things. Uh, again, for last airlines strong today, what's that? Yeah. Uh, American oh, airlines, up. Know, American yeah. Air, airlines were very strong as a group. I, so that was just surprising to me. Is that travels back? Um, so yeah, again, a couple, again, you touched a lot of good things. We talked last week about like these rising wedges and if it was going to repeat itself again, disregard these circles, I was having a hard discussion. But you and I were talking about these like rising wedges and like, is this going to be this obvious repeated pattern again, where you and I seem to be in a camp where we don't expect to see, let me get like an hour so you can kind of follow along. Like we've seen this rising wedge break to new lows. We saw this rising wedge break to new lows. And I feel like you and I are both in a similar camp, but like we don't expect to see the new lows from this break. And it's just some new pattern maybe more of a base in this 380 versus 420 area. That's, you know, again, that's kind of what, at least I'm expecting, I think, kind of what you were saying last week or so. Yeah, 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 just, just chop. Until we get the Fed next Wednesday, you know, uh, no predictions into that for me personally. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know. But so with some other sectors, the one thing I was trying to highlight in this weekend's big picture was that when a lot of these sectors are running back into these major retests, everything looks the most perfect going in. So like Friday, everything looked amazing. It was just like, you know, everything's going back to highs, but we had just gone on these major runs in a lot of these sectors. You have to expect some prop taking. And we're seeing that kind of across the board. We saw it in Staples, perfect retest. We saw it in the industrials, perfect retest. Um, not some discretionary, they're still kind of setting up. But we're seeing this kind of over and over again in a lot of these sectors. So Dow 30, you know, monster runoff lows, pushes through resistance. And again, now it's starting to roll over. And the big thing here you can see, what I was trying to highlight was like, this is, this is where you want to raise those stops and be more defensive than trying to buy the world up here when everything looked so beautiful last week. And now this week, it looks very crappy because of all these, you know, very steep uptrends are breaking. So very, you know, very similar with, with your outlook on that. Again, a lot of my swings moved a lot of up to break even. And I'll just go over them really quickly just while we're here. Um, Again, we had this ENPH, we had this very nice breakout again on Friday, it looked amazing. But the big thing that I was again trying to highlight in the newsletter was just, to, I just was raising everything to break even stop. So for ENPH, thing got smoked today down nearly 8%, but I bought 320, 
I got stopped out 319.89 break even trade. I don't care about today, you know, about this big sell off after it got under my price. And that's like a recurring theme of a lot of these trades. Regeneron, again, same thing, took it through this 750, looked great into Friday, started to pull back in. Same thing. I'm not going to give this thing the 725 and be one to one on risk reward. I'll just take the break even trade and I can come back to it in a week or two through 750 again. And I have no mental capital loss. I didn't lose anything in the trade. Again, DCP, again, another one I've been, you know, a lot of the members were buying through this 39 the last week or so. Came back, you know, 38, 89 stop, lost 10 cents per share, lost nothing in it, no problem coming back to these names. So the big thing with a lot of these trades, again, RYTM, you know, made some money in it. It just had a, you know, very quick, you know, seven, eight percent move into kind of a prior little retest. You just had to take some profits there. But again, over and over this Kate, you know, KRTX thing got smoked. Luckily, took a tiny loss in it and avoided the, the, the shit today. And then the, these are the But the big thing, the overall message really was just keeping those stops break even, keeping the low to late, and you know, keeping the capital where if we can to roll over, the, the money is for us to continue to trade. So, Shake, I'll pass it off to you. And I might have to not have a screen shake for a minute, but I'll be back in a second. If you see me like double, just know that. <laughs> All right. I'll just talk about what I've been up to, man. Yeah. All right, do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Um, all right. Are you darn it? I don't know. So uh, we, were, we were trading to the long side for the most part. I have a lot of similar trades where it's like Regeneron I got out today. Um, I arbitrarily took profit uh, most off the table in the CELH today, just as, you know, this is one of those where I shouldn't have technically, but um. You know, everything's so rosy. It looks great. If it wants to make new all-time highs, it's still a little bit. But, you know, um, that, that that's a great trade to me. I didn't want to give it back with what we're seeing in the broad index. Um, the big winners for me this week were this Exxon. Uh, I was short them all week last week. I began in this area. And the reason I was shorting them, you know, we see this. Uh, we see this, this, this double top, um, you know, tries to break out highs, actually makes a new high here, begins to reverse. And uh, coinciding with a little round the top. You know, that, that's looking like it's come to fruition now. Um, and what we're seeing here, uh, and I, I took the similar trade in Oxy. It's, you know, when these overextended names, when we see that 8 and 21 day moving average crossover, it's a great short setup. Um, we saw it, the CVX, same thing. I began shorting this one Friday, added to it yesterday, and uh, gave us a great two-day move. Another one a set setup like that is this cat today. Um, you know, we we can see the overextended name. We see it testing a major resistance level. And it's just, you know, these things have an air pocket. I'm not trying to stay short this name um, for days and weeks. It's, it's you know, it takes out this pivot to the downside. It doesn't look like there's support till this, you know, 216, 220 area. So that's where you're looking to cover. Um, so those ones have been working well. The shorts worked well this week. Um, we bought this ARRY Friday. I ended up giving it all back. This name is... Uh, just find a retest in this name. Uh, we bought it pretty well at 20, 20, 50-ish. Um, I probably should have taken more off the table given, you know, given the market was you know, running into resistance. I probably should have taken more off 23. I had my eyes on this this huge macro break, which I think comes to fruition one day, but I don't know when it is. And this name ARRY, just, you know, over uh, like triple digit sales growth, things like that. You know, everything you want to see from a company fundamentally. You know, there's a reason it gapped up on these earnings and it's, it's been moving higher since, even if it fall, fell off the radar um, uh, today. And, you know, it's down a little bit, but that one's still definitely one more to keep on. And I've got a bunch of these names that I'm looking at. And now this one, because this becomes research time. Um, it's like this SMCI. SMCI had huge earnings, super microcomputers. We see this huge move in earnings. Pulls in today. You know, I wanted to see it pull in all the way down to the 76 area. But it didn't even let you, you know, it didn't even let it pull in that far. Pulled into like 82 or whatever, still trading right at, at its earnings day highs. Didn't even retest this level and, and it's finding buyers on a day, you know, on a day when the market's getting smoked. So mm -hmm. I, I'm just, you know, uh, making lists of names like this. MOD, this one looks really nice. You know, these things aren't selling off with the market, which is what we really like to see. Now, do these things get hit up in the next day or two? Maybe. But, you know, uh, when we're looking for best of breed and looking for leaders, you know, that, that is what we should be looking for. Booz, Booz Allen Hamilton, B-A-H, this one top right. 
you know, here's the big move on earnings. Now it's just flagging since then. Med P, um, Med Med Pace Holdings, again, you know, gaps up huge on earnings, even continue to run. Now it's going sideways. This thing needs a lot of time, but when it's ready, it'll give a huge move. And then you know, everyone's favorite fast food, Nikki D's. Look at this. Ooh. You know, it's a nice looking chart. What we got here? This is just a massive bull flag, and we got great McNuggets. How about that? So, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting my watch list ready of names I want to buy when we do start trending higher once again. Again, that could be much sooner than people think. I don't think we're just going to go test these lows. Um, this Amgen, AMGN, this one's on the list for sure. Just just a huge bull flag if we're calculating this move into it. Now it's this. We want to buy 288, whatever it's ready. Uh, PODD is another one. You know, we can see, the, obviously, the common theme. Gaps up on earnings. Turns this previous resistance area to new support. And now it's working on that. That secondary flag, and we're gonna buy it when it, you know, wants to complete that flag. And PRTA is another one. Again, this one needs a lot more work, but you know, you can see the box; it's it's trying to form here. So that's where I'm spending my energy right now. It's looking like research time, and and don't be overactive. Again, the market just gave us this huge 16% run, and now it's clearly starting to fall off. Whether we just sell off from here or we begin to chop best from here, this is not the time to be super active. This down here is the time to be active when you should be buying things. When we have this first move up, we back in, um, and then we get the next ripper up move. Those are the times to be aggressive, not when we're not when we're testing, you know, this resistance, at least to long side. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get aggressively short, that that's you. I don't uh, yeah. I'm just looking for singles and doubles right now. Uh very tough environment. So putting any PL on the board is is uh commended. But uh that's really it. You gotta uh, you, you wanna touch on anything else over there, Ben? I got a couple. So yeah, a lot of the ones you're looking at, same on my end again. The other ones Ooh, not mentioned, PSN. you get this PSN. That's nice. This flag forming. Again, got to expect some type of shakeout down to this 48, 47 area in the short <laughs> time, but through 50 in time when, you know, blue sky breakout looks very good. You mentioned that short in um, Exxon. At Exxon? Looks, yeah, you're short. This looks, this WFRD, very similar just, you know, kind of try was like getting back up to 45. That, yeah, and if you have the moving averages on, you'd see the 8 and 21 day. They cross over like today. So that short would have triggered like yesterday, that big red mm -hmm. candle. So I like that. I like that. You know, still could have some opportunity, but. Yeah, but same thing again. I, I this is probably the. But also thing. three days down on the spot. I'm not looking for shorts tomorrow. Yeah, I think the big thing on my end was I noticed for this past, for going into this week, I had probably the most charts mentioned for individual stocks on the shakedown. And most yeah. swings I've had on in months, which to me were both just like big red flags of like, yeah. And and given the market where the market was at, seeing all these retests and, and these big runs where it was like, play defense, just chill out. And again, it's not like this, you know, a lot of these, even these wedge breaks, they, you know, these were about a month, month, month and a half. And that's like the worst case of it, where again, you and I both kind of don't think that's going to be the case, where, you know, give it a week or two to kind of settle out. And, you know, maybe this is the new range 380 versus, you know, 410 and we just find that proper support buyback but not you know into the today where it's just finally starting to break that area of support so yeah now we're just in the ultimate chop zone where it's just you know so difficult now it's the time where if you're like short-term trading it's like almost do the opposite when things are looking bad that's when you look to buy things are looking good that's when you look to sell or short or something mm -hmm. and it's just so difficult trading right now um after we're seeing this uptrend maybe come to completion maybe you know get in the difficult part of the trade who knows also but, great um, time to be moving for the what's up it's a great time to be moving great time to be moving holy shit i can't I'm sitting in cash right now or mostly cash packing these boxes sweat free Just short short next on as we had a bet about going long next on yeah it's like now long. i don't even didn't know take what... a trade in it long but you know made made buku bucks short so this is going to 120 good. shorts it. I don't know. I think that bet. I think we need a new bet eventually because now it's neither of neither of them got to the, the price target and you're short and then you thought we're just gonna go up. So now it's I don't yeah, know. I think humanity, I think humanity's humanity's in, in an uptrend still. Healthcare still got some room to run. Oh Big time. oil. They, they think um they think the sell-off in oil these last two days in the oil names was Dalio and Bridgewater getting out of anything oil. That's what they that's what the that's what the, the speculation that's what they want me to think <laughs> all right man i think we wrapped it up i think that's really it all right good oh i can get back to these boxes great yeah. that's what i want to do you guys you want to stay on do a quick like hour special 
I'm down. No, no, we'll we'll, we'll let you get back sure. to boxing. You sure. You need a hanger? You need some hangers? <laughs> no? All right. If you need some boxes, I got you. All right, without further ado, folks. Uh next week, uh I think I won't I don't think I'll have a computer. I think I'm I move Sunday. So Sunday, Monday. And then next week's Christmas. Ooh, these are the truck talks. I don't know how many we got left. How many of the year? I don't know. I don't know. Next week will be tricky. Maybe we'll do it Monday or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Also, lastly, we do have a few few left. We're running low. I'm actually very surprised. Oh, let's shake. Be honest. Did you really think that we were going to be able to move of the hundred a majority of these? No, I, I honestly didn't think they'd be as high quality as they are. They're fucking incredible. So yeah, we have. And, I mean, the box itself is is just like hmm. really, really nice. I keep the other my, now. I keep all my watches in that box. It's nice. Like that's the. I, I just had this because I, I don't want this like packing. Yeah, you know, I just keep <laughs> the three thing off. So. so that was again for you guys. That was the whole point of making it a watch case and a watch box. Watch box is just going to sit in your closet and never use it. This you'll actually use. Take on vacation. It's on your desk. That was a big part of the marketing effort behind. Um, you obviously know what I'm telling you for people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark it. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, sell, 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 sell. All right, man. All right, we'll wrap it up. All right. Well, time for me to get back to these boxes. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Catch you next week.